In today's perfectly plated segment, we're using our steel light plates and we're gonna teach people how to plate for Valentine's Day. So I have Chef Jeff here, Jeff Cantonetta from Bistro 1907. I'm good, how are you? Good. Isn't good this romantic? You. Yes, it's Our little nice. Valentine's Day segment it is, ourselves. It is. So I was wondering, mm -hmm. and uh, it seems like there's been a shift. You used to go out to eat, you'd, you'd uh, get a dish and it would be like, you know those things you get at a picnic, those paper plates with different compartments and yes, things like that? Yes. That's what meals used to look like. Yes. They don't look like that anymore, do they? No. Why not? Well, you know, we're looking for height yeah. with our, uh, our entrees, and we're also looking to combine all the flavors together. So every fork, spoon, full, whatever you put in your mouth, uh -huh. you get a little bit of everything. All the flavors So it's together. like a party almost going on. Yeah, so I'm gonna have you know Jess, Jeff teach us how to plate stuff in case you're staying home for Valentine's Day. You can do this and really Im impress your loved one as well. First, why don't we start with this? This one's already done. This yes. is our chicken with our raisins uh -huh. and our uh, green olives, Castlovano. I may not have said that correctly. That's okay. And our uh, risotto milanese. Yeah, and this is uh, has the rosemary in it. And uh, all well, that it's stuff, our right? traditional milanese. It's made with saffron uh -huh. and it has some pecorino romano and some parmigiano in there. And that's part of the menu. With a nice stock. Yes, this oh, is one of our very nice. menus. Okay, so that one's done. Now we're going to create our own. So I'm going to take this one out of the way. Sure. Ooh, the plate's still warm. <laughs> and you're going to do uh, a salmon dish, right? Yes. Okay. This is our salmon dish with our kale hash. Okay, and there's a glaze on there, there's it looks like. There's a glaze also, yes. Yeah. All right, our so bourbon what, glaze, actually. Before you start, everything, it's not like the same bland cream color dish. I mean, it seems like you have all sorts of different colors going you on. You know, right? I, I, we like color. You know, we eat with our eyes. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, colorful food, what's the appetite, gets you ready to go. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and one thing of Mark Antonetta here and the Bistro team, we like to, you know, excite you with your palates. Okay. And get you going. And we're gonna stack this one up, right? We're gonna stack this one up. All right, up. so what's on the bottom? Right now we have our kale hash with our lardons, which is bacon. Okay. And it has a little bit of bacon fat in here to give it a little bit of smokiness. Okay, and then so, what are those, sweet potatoes? Sweet potatoes, yes. All right, so, so that's already been cooked. It's already been cooked. So if you have your dish already done, you always put like the starch on the bottom? Is that starch? how it works? Starch, oh, ah, you can. Or you does know, it sometimes matter? you have a veg, you know, vegetarians, you know, you do vegetarian, you do veggies. Okay. So, you know. Uh, so that goes on the bottom. You go down on the bottom, and then we have our bourbon glazed salmon. Okay. Do you leave it just like that, or you cut it in half? Actually, we fire grilled it. Okay. So we, this is a nice eight ounce piece of uh, salmon, mm -hmm. Bay of Fundy. And then we bake that in the oven, finish it to medium. If you like it more well done, more to you. I'm a medium you're, person you're a medium myself, guy. yeah. And some people like to angle it, okay. you get a little height on it. Uh-huh. You get a nice little height on it. All right. And then we have some garnish. Okay. You know, garnish can be anything in your kitchen. Here we have our pickled red onions. Okay. So we're just gonna put some pickled red onions on top. Then we have our fresh Corn salsa, salsa mm -hmm. which we're just gonna spray around here a little bit. Okay. It may fall around a little bit. Yeah, it doesn't seem like there, there's a wrong way to do it, <laughs> no. right? And then we have our, uh, of course, our uh, microgreens. We just give it a little bit of color, a little bit of microgreens around here, just How a little good bit. How does that look, am I right? Yeah, that. And then we have our little uh, tab here. Oh yeah, what do we do with that? Oh, uh, this is a cleaner. Uh-huh, so <laughs> if, you, if you mess up you just on give the it outside. a little wipe around the edge. And then voila. And you're good to go. And there you, you go. All, the way. all right, that's the main course. Yes. Now we're gonna do one of these fancy desserts. Yes. Are you ready? So I'm gonna slide this down. What dessert is this? This is the Julia's Balm. Oh my goodness, Julia. Yeah, our uh, pastry chef Amanda makes this in house. Okay. Is, she's just amazing. And you're gonna do use a white steel light plate, right? Yeah, yes. This is our uh, steel light white plate. Okay. Awesome. All right. So, what are you gonna well, do first? Do you do that first, or you do this first? Well, what we're gonna do is uh, paint it. We have a little bit of our compote here, raspberry compote. Uh huh. So you take it and you just go ahead. You can lift the plate up like that and just go like that. Oh, that's a little bit of running today. Uh -huh. A little thin, but that's okay. Thin. We get the idea. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our. Here comes the bomb. Bomb. And then we have our fresh raspberries. Okay. Set these off to the side. And you could do this with any kind of cake, right? Oh. Doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to be the bomb. It could be a Twinkie, be a for heaven's sake. You know, right? some people put a Twinkie out there. There you go. Or you could deep fry the thing. Right. Oh, this is melted oh, a little I'm, bit. I'm oh, I put it on a warm plate. Oh. But that goes right on in yeah, there, right? right there, like so. We okay. could get some height on that. It's better when it's a little bit colder. Okay. And you have a fresh sprig of uh, mint here. Uh, you can set top. that on top or off to the side. And where's my little... Oh, here, how about that and this? Yeah, I want to I wanna wipe that off here a little bit. For presentation. Then, you know, 
in the, in the honor of Emerald, uh -huh. you go like that. Give it a bam. You know oh, I didn't know it was powder <laughs> you know sugar. Nice like, job. All right. Nice job. I do love Emerald. Good God work. bless him. Thank you, and Jeff. And then boom, right there. There it is. A little bit, you know, if this was colder, we'd just put that on there. But uh, right on yeah. That. And then, uh, voila. There you go. Valentine's right. Day, be awesome. Limited menu, or a new menu until the Valentine's Day weekend, and then yes. you guys are gonna switch again, right? Yes, yes. Get on down to Bistro 1907. Thank you, sir. Thank you, always a pleasure. Nice job. All right, man. Good to see you guys.